the big topic of conversation, which you've pointed out, ironically, is the backup quarterback deal, which is, to me, ridiculous. But let's let's do it. Um, I have thought about what Trey Lance did in that first game, and I've watched some stuff. Iggy, it is my humble opinion that he should not be a 49er, that they should get rid of him. Uh, they, they should trade him. They should uh, cut him. Whatever they can, I don't believe they should start the season with him. So may I, may I make some points before you jump in? I okay. Well, you had a look. Anyway, so here's what I want to say. Here's that look again. Um, what I am not talking about is these things. Whether or not they should have drafted him and given up all those draft picks. Whether or not they knew how to bring him along. Uh, whether other coaching staffs could have done better with him. Whether it's fair or not fair. To, to Trey Lance. I frankly don't care. I'm not his agent and I'm not his father. Life is not fair. All I'm talking about is where he stands on August 15th, 2023. And I'm saying he should not be on the team. And here's, here's my in capsule. Here's my reasoning. The things that he's working on are things a college quarterback needs to work on. He's too far regressed to be helpful to the 49ers this season. Um, and I'm going to give some quick examples. He doesn't read the field field well. He doesn't see it well. He doesn't read his, his progressions at all well. He doesn't get the ball out fast enough enough of the time. Um, he has poor judgment. He throws better over the middle than uh, to the sides. Um, these are all things that should be worked on in college. And this is not a developmental league. They can't afford to have a player like that. What they need to do... Now, let me clarify, Iggy. Th this season, are you allowed to have two or three quarterbacks active? Uh, you can have as many active as you want. Uh, I think one of them is probably not going to be active on you. So you have three on your 53-man roster. Okay. I guess you can have three, yeah. Okay, what I would do if I were running the show, I would have Brock Purdy as my starter, and we're going to get into that in a minute, what's good about him and what's not good about him. And I would have the other two guys, Darnold, and what's the other guy's name? Hold on. Before we go further, you want the Niners to keep what's the other guy's name over Trey Lance. Is that what you're saying? No question in my mind. What's his name? Brandon really? Allen? That's it. Brandon Allen. Okay. okay. Snot, snotty. Mr. Wise Guy. Okay. You think what's his name is better than Trey? I got to know why. Oh, because I think he's more decisive. I think he understands the system better. I think he's a big league quarterback. And I think Trey Lance is a college quarterback at best. So uh, whatever this guy's name is, it could be Schleimy. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> and, and you got all of this from the game against the Raiders. Uh, Iggy, I've been watching this guy for a long time, Trey Lance. Trey? He's he's a long time. Trey. No Listen. one in the world has watched Trey Lance in a long for a long time. Let me finish, and then you can talk. I've seen as much of him as is, uh, I'm available to me, and I feel, in my humble opinion, he is not where a big league quarterback should be, and they don't have time anymore to waste on him. That's what I feel. I feel they should get rid of him. And the other two guys, Allen and um, Darnold, they can make them number two and number three, however order they want. I don't care. And Brock Purdy should be the starter, but we'll get into that later. So I'm open to, to what you have to say. Well, it's not just what I have to say. It's what the Niners have to say. Like Trey Lance was practicing today. Brandon Allen wasn't because the Niners think Trey Lance is better than Brandon Allen. I'm surprised that you think Brandon Allen's better than Trey Lance, considering the Niners think Trey Lance is better than Brandon I don't Lance. give a shit what the Niners think. I want to tell you, and we'll get into this later too, this is an organization that has mishandled the quarterback position spectacularly mm -hmm. since they've come in. I've, I uh, got, grew up in systems who knew how to handle quarterbacks. These mm -hmm. guys don't know their ass from their elbow. So what the 49ers think, I don't care about. I care about right. what I think today. So okay, fair let's head out. Yeah. All right, Dad. Let me go then. Brandon yep. Allen. 
Let me tell you about Brandon Allen. He's 30. Uh, his record in the league is 2-7. and seven. His completion percentage is 56. His quarterback rating is 78. He's not good. Mm-hmm. He's not going to make this team. He doesn't deserve to make this team. So let's just put Brandon Allen to the side. There's no good reason for the Niners to get rid of one of their top three quarterbacks right now. Because whether or not Brack, Brock's going to start week one, but is he going to start week five? Is he going to start week 10? Is he going to start week 15? Maybe not. And I'm not sure that Trey Lance isn't the second best quarterback on this team. Like, what if we saw a quarter of Sam Darnold and we saw a half of Trey Lance? It's been one preseason game. You don't want to see a second preseason game? I'm absolutely open to it. And that's a good point you're making. If in the next game against Denver, um, Trey Lance comes out and really is good, really has improved, have learned from the first game, I'm open to changing my opinion. I'm allowed to change my opinion. I'm talking about August 15th, where I am now. And what's more, hold on. You just hold on. I don't believe he can improve. That's where the, the, the dark cloud comes for me. I think he's a serial loser, and he's not going to improve. I think he already has improved. I think he's improved his throwing mechanics. I think he's improved his accuracy. I think Kyle Shanahan said it himself. He's playing faster and more aggressive. I think he's improving right now. And you're saying they should get rid of him right now. I'm saying I'd like to see a second preseason game because I agree. This was his, I agree. This was his, can I can I talk now? Yes. I let you son. go. I let you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This was his first game in 11 months since he broke his ankle. That's a long layoff. He hadn't practiced. I mean, we all talked about Brock Purdy's rust. We gave Brock Purdy all this grace and, and patience because he had an injury. This guy had a surgery. This guy hasn't played in a while. It's entirely possible that he will look a lot better in the next play. I mean, I thought he looked a lot better in the second quarter than he looked in the first quarter. So I'd like to see the full preseason before I say something like, get rid of Trey, keep Brandon Allen. Because that to me sounds like a little, a little, a little hasty. Um, you know what? It may sound hasty. It's what I believe today. And when you talk about he's improved his throwing mechanics, who the hell talks about a throwing mechanics with a big league quarterback? We're talking about throwing mechanics? This should have been handled in high school. You don't handle this on the 49ers. The, f- the nature of the discussion rules him out. For me, rules him out. Throwing mechanics? Give me a break. He should have handled this his freshman year in college. You don't come to the 49ers and work on throwing mechanics? I don't see it. I mean, that was the scouting report on him, and they brought him in. They said, we can do this. And now he's doing it. No, he's not doing it. I don't he's think not. he is doing it. No. He uh, completed he, eight of his last 11 passes. He couldn't have done that last year. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you something interesting. Okay. All right? All right. A- and you were working very hard today. Iggy worked really hard today. In fact, he just came over to my house to give me the camera and all this. He has a cold. He's been schlepping around. I want you to know that J.T. O'Sullivan put up a fascinating – have you heard about it? I have heard about it. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Iggy, it's so interesting. And, you know, it's funny. He seems like such a reasonable guy, but when he was on the Niners, I thought he was a a putz. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's interesting. And here's, here's, first of all, his general grade for what he saw uh, Trey Lance do was yikes. That's what he said. Yikes. And then he had a very interesting um, perception that I'd like to share with you, and you may disagree. He, co- he used a phrase called turndowns. And what he meant was when a receiver was open down the field, did Trey Lance throw to him or did he go to the check down guy to the side? In four or five cases, he didn't either didn't see the guy or elected not to throw with him because he didn't have the confidence. And he showed, and again, you may not find it persuasive, fair enough, but he showed that even at time, and he really blamed the offensive line for being what it is, but he showed at various, it's nice when I talk and you're not looking at me. I'm sorry, so, I just realized that I, that I didn't plug in my uh, battery and I'm going to have to do that at some point, but keep going. Okay. 
he showed that at various points, he had, even with the bad offensive line, he, he said, throw it now. And you could see, he, these were when he got sacked early. Throw it now. And he had a chance and didn't do it. And he showed how some of those sacks were on him. Now, I understand you're saying he got better in the second quarter. I'm not convinced. I, I think what his performance was. No, I know statistically he got better. I think he's at the yikes level, and I don't want him on the team. Do your battery so we, we don't... Um, no, it's like not in the room or something. I just think it's interesting. He got better from the first quarter to the second quarter. He was awful in the first quarter. It was his first game action in 11 months. His timing was way off, as JTL Sullivan pointed out. Get it out of your hands. I thought his timing was better in the second quarter. I thought his accuracy was better in the second quarter. What if he had played the whole game like quarterbacks do in real in real? I, I, he might have keep kept improving. So I think it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of dangerous to get rid of a quarterback who might be improving. And it's like, okay, he should have had this handled by now. Is it his fault that he didn't? Like, d- doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about fault. There's no young- more in this. Doesn't matter about fault. But it's like, okay, you're saying he's pr- he's playing like a rookie. Well, he's 23 playing- years old. Yeah. He's 23 years old. And so the first two years of his development were wiped out. So get rid of him now that he's improving at 23. Okay, so we have a fundamental disagreement, and let's say we have a fun. And because I don't think he's improving, I think he's always going to have these problems. And you're saying he's improving, so it's fair. We have a fundamental disagreement on our axioms. Okay. Yours is improving, mine is not improving. I'm going to take the final word because it's my show. It's my fair show. enough. Fair um, enough. I think he's improving. Kyle said he's improving. Kyle's not going to get rid of Trey. Trey's going to be on this team, and he's not going to start week one, but I'm going to tell you something. He's going to start for this team this year. They're going to need him at some point. And I don't know if he's going to play well or if he's going to come through, but they're going to need Trey Lance at some point this year. I bet you a bottle of wine. How, how about that? He's going to start games. We'll make, this a, bet. We'll make a bet. Hold on. Let's Let me just say something. I agree they're going to – He's if they don't get rid of him, and now I think they should, but if they don't get rid of him, I agree he's going to play because Kyle gets everybody hurt. I agree, but if it comes down to him, they're in a world of trouble. So, what? What? How can we make this bet? Uh, what can we do? I bet you a bottle of wine that Trey Lance yeah. starts at least. How, you, you you put the number on it. How many games? Oh, he he makes uh, no. I want to talk about quality of performance, not number of starts. Okay, uh, that if I believe he'll win a game for the 49ers this year. How about that? <laughs> I don't okay. know how many games he's going to play. What do you want me to say? That he's going to play seven games for them and win eight, six of them? I don't know how many games he's going to play. He's going to win a game for the Niners this year. They're going to need what? him. He's going to come through. He's going to win a game for the Niners this year. Okay. Can we make it two games? He may not start two games, but okay. It, how about if he if he only starts one game because Brock Purdy misses a game and he comes in and wins it? Do I owe you a, a, a bottle of wine because okay. he didn't get a second opportunity? Uh, fair enough. If let's say this, I want a start from him, not a mop up. Okay. That that the first game he starts, I say he loses. You say he wins. The first game is all going to be on the first game he plays. <laughs> the first game. I guess he we starts. have to figure out what the, we have. I guess we have to work on this one. Maybe people in the chat will suggest a good. Oh, uh, you're saying he, they, he's going to have to play. So I'm saying, okay, I agree he's going to have to play. So S- Brock's going to get hurt. He'll mop up. Okay, but right. the, the, right, then next game will let's be his that. game. Let's when it's his game. Trey wins his first start for the Niners. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Start so he, he'll win his first start. And I'm saying he'll lose. And here's okay. what I'd like to bet. A crew Beaujolais, a high-end Beaujolais. Okay, I think sounds good. It's worth a Beaujolais. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like you it. Like it? Okay. 